Hello everyone and welcome to episode 21 of Slayer and PVM Locked. Now today we are not going to be doing any crazy boss fights or anything like that. That's all coming up next episode. Today we're going to go back to basics and get some just raw levels, some gear and some just genuinely good upgrades that we're going to use. It's taken me quite a while to get the footage for this because the kind of milestones are getting a little bit further apart, especially when I'm not doing the actual big PVM bosses. But we'll jump in into it and you can see exactly what sort of progress we've been making. So we'll start out over at the beach where I managed to get to level 55 Dungeoneering and then pretty quickly went on to get 60 Dungeoneering. Honestly I'd rather do Dungeoneering in natural solo dungeons because you get tokens there but this is a fast way to get to the higher levels which is nice. We then moved on and because I'm an idiot I forgot to click record but we managed to get to 70 strength which is huge because now we can go and fight General Grador and that is going to be the focus of next Next episode so looking forward to that and finally we top off the beach with level 60 construction the beach has been incredible for construction for this account it's just been so good and because we don't get any items it's all good within the rules feels a little bit cheaty but there you go i don't design the game now of course it wouldn't be a slayer and pvm episode unless we did some barrows run so here's a quick breakdown of what loot we managed to get first chest verax flail then we get our sixth Darox Great Axe, I think it is. This is honestly getting a little bit ridiculous now. And there is a Torag's Plate Body. Guthans War Spear Numero 2. We finally get a decent piece of range gear and we get a Carol's Top, which is so good. We are still like 350 chest dry on the crossbows, but there you go. That's how it works sometimes. But then we get Whammied with a double Torag's Chest, so we get the Helmet and the plate body. Now the only thing we're missing from that set now, I believe is the hammers. I think we've got everything else, but then we might actually have our first set of Barrow's armor, which is so exciting. I'm missing one piece from four different sets. I then decided to head over to war and grab the second aura unlock. So we've now got vampirism and dark magic. Thought I'd crack on with a little bit of Slayer, so managed to get this beautiful scene of 76 ranged and the War Priest body of Armadil all at the same time. Smashed out a couple more Slayer tasks until we managed to get to 78 Slayer, so we can now unlock Aquanites. And then while on stream, managed to complete Shades of Morton quest. That honestly was a pretty boring quest, but it gave us access to Serum 207, I believe it is, which is going to be a decent way of training Herblore later on. So there's been two kind of big pseudo bosses that I've been wanting to do that I've not really had the gear for or I've not had the correct knowledge to be able to do those and those are the goblin raids and the demon flash mobs. So I decided to tag along with my clan mates who ran an event for the demon flash mobs and I managed to get the glorious title which is just insane. It's like 50 million gold on the G or something stupid like that. I'm just going to leave it in the loop tab. I don't know whether I want to use it or whether I just want to kind of keep it there because obviously I can't sell it but it was incredible. I've never had a drop from flash mobs or anything like that before. We didn't get any other great drops. I think we got a dragon longsword which was fine but honestly that was just a beautiful thing to happen. This honestly has highlighted to me quite how important having a clan is. Just being able to talk to people while doing skilling and being able to go to these events has changed my experience entirely and having a good clan behind you is just brilliant. I'm going to be making a video on it. I want to get a few bits of information and a few quotes and things from clan leaders. I'll be reaching out to a few of you in the next few days but I really want to make that video and just highlight how important and it is to get that sort of sense of community. I then went and checked out the goblin raids and holy hell have I been sleeping on these. I have been looking for a good source of oak logs for a really, really long time and these are just amazing. They really are. Just the minions just drop so many I've had to bank multiple times during a trip. It is a bit weird though because they only drop the logs if they spawn in the woods otherwise it's stone spirits or seeds although i did get quite a few marigold seeds so that's quite nice as well but it seems like a really good way of getting some resources so i'm going to be doing those pretty much every time they come up and you never know i might get some of that good raider gear or whatever it's called and speaking of things that i should definitely have done earlier i have not got myself 
a dragon defender yet and i've been doing so much barrows i should have been getting these corrupted sigils but apparently i just forgot that it existed so we need to go get some points i don't think there's really much that we need to prepare for we can just kind of run in and see how it goes let's run through the mini games quickly and then we'll get on to killing some cyclops so first up we have to avoid the wrenches coming from the catapult if you can dodge a wrench you can dodge a ball what? And after a good 15 minutes of just being pelted by these, we get a decent amount of points. Next we spend a lovely amount of time rolling around with barrels on our heads, so not 100% sure why that's useful for killing Cyclops, but there you go, that's the way it is. Next up is stabbing training dummies, which I can actually see why that's quite useful. And then we brought some armor to enchant and we destroyed the armor, which given that Cyclopses don't wear armor, again, questionable training method. Eventually though, we did manage to make it up to the Cyclops room, used all tokens because that gives you quite a big chance of getting the defenders. It's pretty significant increase to be honest with you. And then we started going for that bronze defender. So we pretty much got the bronze defender within the first couple of kills. That was swiftly followed by the iron defender, the steel defender, then the black defender, the mithril defender, the adamant defender, and the rune one. We pretty much just smashed through those within about 10 minutes. There was a little bit of a grind, but then finally, there it is, the dragon defender. We're going to get a couple more of those so we can just make the rebounders and all that sort of stuff. But honestly, that is incredibly good. It's going to be super good because we're going to be able to get the corruption sigil now, which helps towards the collection log for Barrows. Tier 70 offhand kind of shieldish weapon is really, really good. It's going to be super good for camping things like Hellware. So the final thing that I did was open a few clue scrolls. I was going to do a mass opening of clue scroll caskets however we've run into quite a few issues with the clue scrolls Ooh, that's pretty nice an offhand suitcase i wonder if there's a main hand suitcase and then you can sort of dual wield suitcases that'd be cool anyway i got distracted so we've run into a bit of an issue whereby we can't complete all of the easy clues without spending a load of slayer points so yeah, it's it's kind of, I'm just going to open them as and when, or I might save some up and end up dropping some clue scrolls. We'll just have to see. But looking at it, we didn't get anything majorly good. I mean, the arrows are okay, and we're getting a decent amount of pure essence, as you see, but it's nothing incredible. I'm not quite sure what is worth any money in this, unless a black crossbow is a sort of fortunate component or something maybe it is i guess the last one open we're gonna re-roll that because it's a little bit of garbage um but then we yeah, oh oak planks okay pretty good and some lumber yard so that's basically the clue scrolls that is where the account progress is at i didn't want to make this one too long there wasn't a ridiculous amount of progress there was just a, a sort of decent amount and i wanted to get it out before we start bossing i do really like that suitcase actually but yeah, that's where we're going to leave it for today. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. If you like the video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in a few days.